Hello again, it's time for another project. Today we're going to do a little bit of routing work and we're going to route out this little pattern here. Nothing too fantastic. Liverpool Football Club, I believe. Somebody's asked me to do this room, so I'm going to have to go and do it, aren't we? As always, I find the best way just to put your carbon paper on there, like so. Stick your little template, stencil, pattern, whatever you want to call it, on top, and basically just draw around it. This allows you to keep flicking it up each time just to make sure you've got it right. And obviously, we have, we've all done, we've got it sorted. It's all drawn on there nicely. Because the background is going to be deeper than the bird itself, I've put a little frame on here and we'll just route, at, route that out just the same. And hopefully put some red in the background, the white bird, and then we'll leave the surround wood and get some lin linseed oil on that. The bits I'm going to use, as always, are my little pin ones like so. You can see those. These are great little things. You'll need the classic collet to fit on. Then you just slide them on there. And then that will fit into your router, no problem. Then once we've done them, that one to go around all the outlines at the set depth that I want, which I normally would use my little depth marker. Pick it all that I'm happy with, and that's the depth I will set my router. So I will draw all the way around with the CNC bit, and then I put on this is a one eighth. I've got a slightly bigger one, quarter inch, quarter inch. I'm just take all the background out, just going careful down these sides. Okay, let's set the router up. We'll get our little CNC in bit and we'll start drawing around this. Right, we've gone all the way around that with our CNC bit. I've took out these sections with that one because it was, you're just not going to get in there with anything else because it, it is quite tight. Quite a good depth to this one, deeper than I would have normally gone, but I'm st I've stuck with it. Just a quick one, these edges, I just cut those freehand with a router. If you're not too sure, your router will come with, or you can purchase what they call it, this is a micro adjuster, and that basically would slot onto your router, so your router sits on there, and then you can actually slide that down there. I get nice straight edges. I tried it once before and it didn't work for me, so I'll just do it freehand. Right, we'll change our bit. And then we'll continue taking this out.
Right, we've gone all the way round that with our one eighth bit. There's still some bits to do, and I will go around with the Dremel next, with a couple of little birds on. Not so much sanding birds, I think they're engraving birds, but they do all clear this off nicely. But yeah, we're taking shape as you can see. Nearly lost a little bit on the corner there. Very lucky, very lucky. But we got away with it. Just a quick one, when you do come to do these sides, I don't know if you noticed in the little bit of video before this, I tend to put another piece alongside there like that. And it just gives you more of an area to rest your router on. Because if you've only got a small base like mine, when you're coming to the end, you're just going to start pivoting a bit. So if you put that piece on there, it just gives you a nice bigger area to work on. Either that or you need a larger base, which you can purchase or make yourself. So that's just another little tip. And that allows you to run down there. Because if you didn't have that piece of wood, you'll just find yourself doing that. So that's worth thinking about if you do the end bits. Okay, let's move on and get our Dremel and start tidying this piece up. Right, that's nicely dried now. I've removed the masking tape from the outside. I will put my linseed oil on here after we've painted that white. So I want to give it a light sanding. Just remove that red. I personally would have left it with the wood showing and linseed that. But the person wants it painting white, so what can we do? So yeah, light sanding and then we'll get onto the white paint. Right, that's cleaned up nicely. Like I said before, I would be happy to leave that as it is. Because the more woods on show, the better. But apparently it's got to be painted white. So we'll pop the white paint on. Same painted should touch as the red, should I say. A bit of linseed and then we'll come back. This one's finished. Right, that one's finished. One routed football plaque, A4 size. Probably took longer to paint than it did to route out. Nightmare. Not the best of paint. But anyway, it's done. It looks apart. So that's that project complete. Thank you for watching.